Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Catherine with The Perfect Place to Start and today I have three Dollar Tree Spring Farmhouse DIYs for you. I would like to thank Top Cash Back for sponsoring today's video. This website is a website that pays you a commission to shop online. They are partnered with over 4,000 stores and the best part, it's free to sign up. More about their company throughout the video. For this project, we're going to use one of the mason jar signs from the Dollar Tree and I'm taking some steel chalk paint and some white chalk paint and mixing them together and painting the whole thing. This step is optional, I just wasn't sure if the calendar page would show through and so I just went ahead and painted it. Once I'm done painting, I'm going to take one of those calendar pages from the farmhouse calendar from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to trace it around the sign and glue it on with some Mod Podge. Once I get the calendar page glued on there, I go ahead and take my sanding block and I go around all the edges to make sure there aren't any loose ends that I can sand off. Once I have that all completed, I take this lamb's ear that I picked up at Walmart and I have five bunches here. I go ahead and cut off the stems and then I'm gluing them at the top of the mason jar. You want to make sure if you're recreating this that your stems are only the length of that silver part where the top of the mason jar would be. That way it looks like a vase. Next I'm going to take some jute rope and this is just some leftover rope that I had and so I just go ahead and wrap it around a couple times until I run out of rope. Um, you could cover the whole thing if you wanted to. And then once I have that done I just kind of fluff out the lamb's ear so it's taking over the whole top. And then I got these spring uh, florals from the Dollar Tree and I just cut them up and stick them in sporadically to give it a really nice spring floral feel. The final piece of this DIY is some ribbon that matches the ribbon that's on the tag that says have faith. I just cut it in an H shoelace bow and glued it to on top of the bow that was there and then this project is complete. Top Cash Back is sponsoring today's video and I just wanted to show you a little bit about signing up. So it is totally free like I said before. All you have to do is create a username and a password, hit the join free button and then it takes you to their website. As you can see, there are several thousand real retailers that they have available. They have things like Amazon, Walmart, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, uh, Old Navy, several of the things that you're probably already shopping for online as it is. Each of them has um, a certain percentage that you get back as a cash back. Uh, commission and so what you do is you just go to the desired website so I'm shopping Dollar Tree today I type in Dollar Tree I find the store and then you can see that I'm gonna get a 4% cash back for shopping through their website I click on it and then it takes me just to shop regularly through the Dollar Tree website 
takes me straight to the Dollar Tree website and then I can browse um, any of the products that are on the Dollar Tree website. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what they have available here on the Dollar Tree website. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I'm shopping at the actual Dollar Tree, it's really hard for me to find the supplies that I need or I will see DIYers using supplies I have never seen in my store. So that is one of the really nice benefits of shopping online is that they have all kinds of things that I have maybe never seen in my store. Like we don't have a lot of the wood products and a lot of the ribbon. I have been waiting like six months to buy some of that farmhouse ribbon. But I just wanted to highlight here like they have the nautical rope and we're using the nautical rope in our projects, a couple projects today. The really nice thing is you can buy mass quantities of that because a lot of the projects you use the rope with, um, you're gonna need multiple parts. They also have smaller quantities. So they have several products that you can buy that you don't have to buy in cases. And so that's really nice. You can buy quantities of four or six and um, that way you don't have like this overabundance and you're not paying a lot of money for something that you might necessarily not be using. So I wanna show you guys here, like I clicked on the craft supplies. Um, they have the floral foam and a lot of the yarn is in the smaller quantities. Um, and then they also had uh, wreath forms and some florals and those really popular uh, wood crates that you can buy. I use a lot of the Spanish moss, so that's something that I would probably want to buy um, in bulk. So I just wanted to show you guys here, I did go ahead and purchase some of the ribbon and things on the website. You do have to wait about seven days for it to show up here as they're waiting for them to pay the commission. But once you're done, it's gonna show up here in your earnings and then you're gonna have access to that money right away. Some other really cool things that they have here is a browser extension, so you can install it if you have Google Chrome, Google, Google Chrome or Foxfire, and um, it will just sit on your desktop, and then you are, as you're shopping, it will open and work for you as you're going along. There is a link in my description box so that you can go check out the website and sign up for free so you can start saving money now. For this DIY, we're going to take one of those metal planters from the Dollar Tree and I'm just taking some white Waverly chalk paint and going over the twine that's attached to it up there. Then I got these bird stencils and um, I'm just going to take out the bird stencils and I'm going to just randomly place the bird stencils all around my metal bucket. I'm just going to stencil on there with the white Waverly chalk paint again and I just choose several different birds and several different sizes and styles to go around the entire planter. I do go ahead and spray my planter with some matte acrylic spray after I get it all painted on there just to make sure that if the birds were to get wet they wouldn't come off the planter. Um, it did kind of add this kind of weird um, like distressing look on it but I actually really liked it after I got it on there so that's an optional step for you. You could always put Mod Podge over it too to make sure it seals it in. Once I have the birds on there, then I add my floral foam, which came from the Dollar Tree, and these butterfly stickers. I'm going to make a really easy pick for my um, planter. I should have bought two packages of the same butterflies. I bought separate ones, and since I'm putting them back to back, it would have been nice if they had matched. So if you're going to recreate this, buy two packages of the same butterflies. As I was shopping online at the Dollar Tree website, I did see these stickers on there, so if you aren't able to find them in your store, these are definitely something that you could pick up on the Dollar Tree website. Now I'm going to stick my pick into the floral foam, and it's pretty hard because I, I did put the really stiff foam in there. Once I get it in there, I'm ready to add my greenery. This is boxwood greenery from Walmart and I'm just um, rat, like adding it all around so that you can't see any of the inside of the planter. The cream colored pick is just something I had left over in my stash and I thought it would look kind of cool for a contrast. It's definitely optional. It's super cute with just the greenery. Once that's completed, then this project is complete.
faster car Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down, feel alive When I'm in this town Look at the beautiful stars, I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me If you're new here, welcome. I'm Catherine from A Perfect Place to Start. I love to do seasonal decor, Dollar Tree DIYs, home decor, and thrift to treasure. So if that's something that you're into, I would love it if you went down, hit the subscribe button, and became a part of my YouTube family. For this project, we're going to take one of those Dollar Tree tins and some of the jute rope from the Dollar Tree, and we're just going to wrap the entire tin with the jute rope. This is one of those products on their website that you are able to buy in a smaller quantity and I definitely am going to shop for that myself. Um, last year I wasn't able to find much of the jute rope. I think I was like my store was sold out in June and it never had any more jute rope come back in until like almost Christmas. And so there was a lot of product projects that I wasn't able to complete. So I'm excited to be able to buy that online and have uh, more quantity of that. Once I have the bucket completed, I'm ready to do the moss balls and I'm just taking some of the floral moss and some styrofoam balls and we're recreating those ever popular moss balls that are the Pottery Barn dupe. So it takes me about a package and a half of the floral moss and I create three balls and one styrofoam bunny for spring. Um, I'm just using hot glue and just mashing it all around. Definitely use those plastic fingers. I <laughs> burnt myself a couple of times just without noticing that the glue was there. Once I have the balls and the bunny all completed, then I put some tissue paper in my bucket and I'm taking some Spanish moss. I'm going to spread the Spanish moss out all over the tissue paper so you can't see it and it gives it some height. And then I'm going to lay my balls and bunny into the tin. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know which one was your favorite project down in the comments below. Don't forget to click on the link in my description box for Top Cash Back. It's free to sign up. You can check out their website, check out some retailers that you normally shop, and start saving money today. As always, wherever you are in your journey is the perfect place to start, and I will see you guys in the next video. No one's stopping me.